If someone asks me what kind of person am I in front of others, well, I will say I'm a person who is mostly a listener rather than a teller. I really didn't talk much about myself to others as I believe it was sort of strange to do so. But now I'm going to challenge myself by taking this opportunity to become a storyteller about this 19-year-old girl to you. An elementary school student, Yu Cha Li, was a very shy child. But she was not afraid of doing new things, like she didn't know what fear was. While growing up, this younger encountered a serious question for the first time in her life. What do you want to be in the future? My classmate called out their future dreams. I want to be a singer, I want to be a president, I want to be a teacher. And she thought, wow, that's so cool. But I was not sure about my future. I didn't know who I was and who I wanted to be. To address this question, I started to find out what I really wanted to do. I start dreaming. We face the question about our futures oftentimes during elementary school, middle school, high school, and universities. Adults are no exceptions, aren't you? I think dreaming means another challenge for myself and for everyone, and that is why it applies even to adults. So we say life is like a marathon. Our dreams and goals becomes the driving force of running, and when we finally achieve the goal, we'll cross the finish line. And there would be many obstacles which can vary from person to person, and they're harsh, whether you run a marathon or you go through your life. In the meantime, there is hope and excitement that the word dream gives to us, and that is why we cannot stop this marathon. Going back to my story, I graduated from elementary school and middle school, and I'm now a 19-year-old high schooler. I asked to myself, what do you want to be in the future, again? And I answered, well, actually, I still could not find out. To be exact, I felt like I don't dream anymore. I lost myself to concern, anxiety, and fear. I, I was without courage and passion. And I noticed many times that I'm not the same as I used to be. The child who was once fearless is gone. It was like I got lost somewhere in the marathon. It was like everyone is going their own way, working very hard, setting their eyes for the future, but it's, that is not the case with me. What I did was to go back to those days when I was full of energy before it got too late to get it right. I made effort to find out what made me a completely different person. While doing so, I found something that I did not expect it. Can you guys guess what it was? No one told me not to dream or challenge. I just did not dream and challenge myself anymore. The reason for that was beyond expectation. I was afraid. I was afraid of how I was seen by others and worry that my mistake would put me into a shameful situation. I thought to myself about a shame or mess that would unfold before my eyes if something went wrong. This obstacle kept me locked up for the past years, and I didn't think of breaking these obstacles. Despite when I was much younger, I only sang dreams all day long without Without, um, without knowing what fear was. 
There's only one thing that I wanted to tell you guys, to challenge something is really meaningful. But there can be a corresponding hesitations that follow. Can I successfully make it? Wouldn't it take too long? What if I fail in the middle? And what if I make a mistake? All of you who are sitting right there and watching this will have dreams from big to small. But I will ask you, do you have any dreams that you have excised from your mind because of your fear? If yes, I want you to join my challenge. Breaking free from fear. I am now participating and presenting in this show in the middle of the stage where I feel very nervous and embarrassed now to break free from fear. It was a test bed for me to see if I have a courage to do what I wanted to do and what I've dreamed of it. It will be just a simple experience for someone, but for me, it was a challenge and a new start. It doesn't matter whether you found your dream earlier or later than others. The fact that you've found what you really wanted to do is important. What if not? Then you will find it from now. Goethe, a German philosopher, said this, whatever you can do or dream you can, big in it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. No one will tell you not to dream or challenge. Even if there is, never be afraid. You are the owner of yourself, and you are the designer of your life. Your challenge has just begun. Thank you.